kids? Oh, it's fun. Um, real, a lot of fun. Uh, good way to get our program started. We have a big program of camps um, in the off season. Something we look forward to every year. Um, you know, excitement on the kids' faces, and you know, a lot of a lot of interest in the wolves. And um, you know, I'm I'm happy to be able to kick kick it off. What are some of the questions they ask you? Well, I got asked everything from uh, rating the D-Lo trade to uh, how hard is it to coach and how do we get from team to team so quickly. So, so much harder questions than we have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's all fun. You never know what they're going to ask. That's the exciting part. So. Is it a breath of fresh air being able to coach little kids like this and just seeing them enjoy the little things like practices? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, I can actually remember growing up, you know, how excited we were to go to camp, um, you know, year to year get a little better, play basketball with their friends, um, you know, just kind of you know, get back to the purest form of it, you know, and, um, and really it's all about the fun. So. How do you use this time away from the NBA season to kind of just take a step back to relax and not have to think about all of that? Yeah, I think, you know, I love being here in town in the summer. Um, you know, there's a lot to do. The community has so much to offer. Um, you know, the weather's outstanding. Um, and just kind of, you know, we're still in the office every day. We're kicking around ideas about how to be better. Um, you know, we got our players in the gym, so it's fun to spend time with them in a different format, you know, particularly the young guys, uh, getting out and trying to do as much things, as many things we can do in the community as possible as well, because, uh, you know, we have the time to do it. So. We're like Ant being in town more. Yeah. He's working anyway. You yeah. Know, like whether he's in Georgia or here, but like, what are the dividend? Like, what what are the biggest advantages of him specifically being here for that work? Yeah, I think uh, you know, obviously, um, more resources, more people we can put around him. Just you know, whether it be player development coaches, uh, you know, all of our you know performance coaches, being being able to give as much guidance. I think with with Ann, it's literally about like how do we create these scenarios on the floor with with bodies to be able to replicate what is we seek with him. It's just not just about skill acquisition. It's more about like developing his uh, understanding of how to attack concepts, defenses, like things that he sees, you know. Um, so we can really kind of part method that out um, and obviously just having him around and, you know, being in market for things like this as well is important. Do you ever turn back into a player development coach this summer? Do I ever turn back into a player development coach? <laughs> Um, honestly, it was never really my forte, <laughs> um, but uh, it's it was you know I was down in Atlanta last week. Yeah, I was down in Atlanta last week with Ant. It was fun to spend some time on the floor, just going through a bunch of things, uh, you know, just one on one with them. So. How much do things ramp up like today, ten days out from the draft? Yeah, I think this is the the week where conversations certainly pick up around the league. Um, with things surrounding the draft. I think everything up until this point in time is mostly groups working within them, within their own structures to evaluate the draft, evaluate the strategy, evaluate their own roster. Um, you know, the next 10 days is I think when teams start plugging in with each other to find out what they may or may not be able to do. Do you have an untouchable? Uh, I think we definitely have a few untouchables, um, you know, um, you know, but uh, as you know, in this business, there's nothing as, uh, Nothing is uh, for sure. So. When it comes to the makeup of this roster and the offseason acquisitions that you guys may make, how involved are you with this? And you know, how much do you think about everything that goes into it? Yeah, I'm, I'm involved uh, the perfect amount, to be honest with you. Um, trust our front office. It's their job. They've been evaluating these guys for years now. Um, obviously, we have conversations about fit, uh, style of play, needs, uh, you know, kind of all of that, um, you know, then they, they kind of whittle it down for me to, to see who the most important guys so I can focus on the guys that they really are kind of targeting. Um, and then there's just a lot of con conversations, you know, around strategy and um, possible outcomes, of which, you know, most of them never come to fruition, and that's uh, kind of the nature of the beast, but it's still fun. How's Kyle Anderson doing after his eye surgery? He's doing great. He's back in the gym, getting work in, um, getting better and better all the time. So... Um, really good to see. Did he have to apologize? Or? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think uh, Anthony had any idea when it happened that, that it was him. So. If Gobert, Towns, and Edwards are still here next year together, 
what do you what's the hump, what's the big jump for them this offseason going into well the I mean certainly obviously we've got to all stay healthy you know we know the cap missed 50 some games so that's the biggest piece because um, that kind of lays at the heart of how it all works best um, but we gotta you know I think what the most important is that uh, going into next season um, we learned enough to have a way better starting point about what we feel uh, will work um, won't, and what won't work and some of the challenges that lie in between all that um, you know and I think we just got to keep maturing as a team for sure um, that's both physically mentally emotionally all the things that you need to do to take steps forward in this game I don't think we're that far off but I also think um, you know we still don't have that much margin for error um, you know and we still got to get our young players better um, and we got to figure out a few things surrounding those three guys for sure I guess